Alright, dude. You do the singing. I'll do the hard stuff. I wanna be the best there ever was to beat all the rest. Yeah, that's my cause. Nitterino, Mr. Mime, God, who beat him? Oh my God, Kelly Clarkson. I don't know the words. Why are there catch catch them, catch them, gotta catch them all. Why are there so many birds? I'll search what? across the land. Okay, hold on. Look far okay. and wide. Release from okay. my hand the power that's okay. inside. Okay. Okay. Mr. Mime, gotta get. Oh, Jesus. Why are there so many Pokemon, Blake? Catch why are there them, catch them, gotta catch them all. <laughs> what? Pokemon! Ando. Commando. Bandito. God, why did I say I was gonna do this list? I don't know, you're the one that did this to me. <laughs> so, before we start off the list, watch this video of our top five favorite Pokemon. We got a new list for you, our top five least favorite Pokemon. And the only rule in this one is Magikarp is not allowed. What? But he's, he's so awful! I think I'll start off this time. In the last video, we were talking about how I traded away my ADHD. How do you trade away ADHD? You are the epitome of ADHD. <laughs> Not what I meant, Mr. Charmander. I meant my vile plume named ADHD. Anyways, my fifth least favorite is Gothitelle. There's nothing wrong with this Pokemon. I find him to be a very strong Pokemon, especially because I do use mine on occasion. Emotionally, though, I could never use my Gothitelle for too long because I still miss my Vileplume. Lame! Not much of a least favorite. Shut up! Let me feel my feelings. Fine, I guess since you talked about the Pokemon from your last video, I'll talk about the Pokemon from my last video. My fifth least favorite Pokemon is Slackoth and Slack King. Now, this goes back to my third most favorite Pokemon, Vigoroth. These two Pokemon are the reason I like him so much. After going through lots of tedious training with Slackoth and his detrimental ability, Truant, he finally evolves into this Mexi Mofo. And you finally get rid of that crappy ability. And naturally you think, wow, this Pokemon is so great, just think about how awesome his evolved form is going to be. Until you realize he gets his craptastic ability back. Ugh. And I gotta admit, Slacking is a beast of a Pokemon. And if it wasn't for that ability, he wouldn't even be on this list. And I hate Magikarp! You know the rules, Brian. <laughs> that is so awful! I always go with something that could potentially piss people off. I know there are people that really like him and others that don't like him at all. Arceus is my fourth least favorite Pokemon. Actually, Blake, I think it's Arceus. No, it's Arceus. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's Arceus, actually. No, it's Arceus. No, no. Why don't you ever listen? It will be I swear to God. Arceus is one of the most complicated to work with. If you want to change his type, he has to hold an item, preventing him from holding an item to guarantee survival, such as a focus sash. Then when it comes down to it, if you change his type and the enemy has one of his weaknesses, and that Pokemon happens to be strong, Arceus is done. And that's really my only problem with Arceus. You know what I never really understood about him? He's like the god of like all Pokemon. Shouldn't he be like the last Pokemon ever created? Exactly. Wait, wouldn't he be the first created? <laughs> Stupid. Whatever, Brian. Let's get into my fourth least favorite Pokemon, Fabass. Fabass! <laughs> Stupid. So what can I say about this Pokemon? Well, let's start with this. I like Magikarp. Oh, come on! I like how he starts off weak and eventually turns into a very powerful Pokemon. And so does Feebas. But here's the difference. Magikarp is super easy to catch and way easier to evolve. And even easier to throw away. <laughs> and I know they changed it to make it easier to evolve Feebas. Feebas! But I still have a grudge for not being able to get his beauty up high enough to evolve this Pokemon. Plus, literally, in some games there are only four squares that you can catch him in. Are you flipping kidding me? Ugh. Maybe if I had evolved this guy the way the creators originally intended, he wouldn't be on this list. But because I didn't, he makes it in as my number four least favorite Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that just don't look good artistically. Some that make you think, why? I'm in no way saying this Pokemon is bad, but Stunfisk is my number three. Looking at it, I can't help but shudder in disgust at its design. 
I know it's based on a real fish, but there are other Pokemon who are based on real-life ugly animals, but were remade to look good. Why couldn't they have done it with this Pokemon? I'm scared of fish. No, really, they're like slimy and ucky and ugh. You know what fish I hate worse than Magikarp? None of them, because Magikarp is the spawn of the devil. He Just ignore him. I will not be ignored. Let's talk about your next Pokemon, Tony. Fine. My third least favorite Pokemon is the Porygon Evolved Forms. I like Porygon, although in the beginning he was a pain in the backside to get. I just never really understood his evolved forms. They don't really change that dramatically from his first form. Let's take a look at a good evolutionary chain. Like Charizard's. What'd you talk about Charizard for? Really, Blake? Moving on, look how different Charmander becomes in each form. It feels like I'm getting a new Pokemon each time he evolves. But Porygon just doesn't change enough for me. In my opinion, it would have been better if he progressively got bigger, eventually resembling a Porygon head on a Megazord body. Now that would have been a cool evolution. Can I get a holla? Holla! <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. Well, continuing on with my last point, artistic designs are not the best for some Pokemon. Of course, this one was done on purpose by Game Freak, but I cannot stand it. This Pokemon is so hideous, it brings the question why to a whole new level. My number two, Perugly. I've always liked cat Pokemon. Meow. Like Meowth. Meow. Skitty. <laughs> and even Purloin. Shut up, you stupid cat! But when Glammeow, possibly the best looking cat Pokemon, evolves, I can't help but ask Game Freak, why would you do this? Are you guys seriously ignoring me? I was not talking to you. Like, you ever not like something for no apparent reason? You mean my feelings toward you? Yeah, and that's kind of the way I feel about this next Pokemon. My number two Pokemon on this list is Poochyena. I want to say it's because he doesn't look like a dark dog Pokemon, and maybe that's due to how much I love the design on Houndour and Houndoom, but at the end of the day, he has dark elements that I guess make him believable. But I don't like this Pokemon, I don't want him in my party, and typically I like dog Pokemon, so why do I not like this one? When really thinking about it though, I think he just pales in comparison to Arcanine, Houndoom, and yes, I'm saying this, Lillipup who is adorable. Oh yeah? Well, I, I hate Charizard more than I hate Magikarp. <gasps> yeah, I said it. You don't really mean it though. No, I don't. You guys, seriously, I, I really, really hate Magikarp. I think I need help. I know, Brian. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, check this out. My least favorite Pokemon of all time, Unknown. So this pick seems to be rather popular from what I can tell. The simple reason, he only learns one freaking move. And on top of that, it's hard to find one with good defense and offense. Geez, these things are terrible all around. But alas, this is not why I dislike this Pokemon. My real reason, some time ago I went on a journey to catch all of the Unknown. And what did I get after I caught them? Two more Unknown. Are you kidding me? All that for nothing? For two, one move knowing, low defense, low offense wielding Pokemon. It makes me sick. Literally. I, I think I'm gonna... Okay, so my least favorite Pokemon is all the starter area rodent Pokemon excluding Rattata. This one is simple. Rattata is by far a classic Pokemon to me. And in the original games, a Pokemon that fought bravely against the Elite Four with me. Of course, at that point he was Eradicate. But these other Pokemon, they're posers. They can never live up to what Rattata was in my eyes. And honestly, why can't we just find a fire Pokemon in the grass from the beginning? Why do we always gotta start off with a rodent Pokemon? Why? Even the bird types which commonly show up at the beginning aren't always there. So why do we always get stuck with another rodent in each version? I just mean, I don't, uh, serious. Okay, Tony, that's enough. Let's end this bad boy. As always, my fellow up to no-getters, my name is Anthony Hazelwood.
And I'm Alexander the Blake. And I still hate Magikarp. Ow. And I'm Brian the Doodad Brown. And you just watched our five least favorite Pokemon. And don't forget to leave your list in the comments section below. And also, why don't you include a little video comment telling us your least favorite Pokemon list? Now is the time you hit the sub button. I'll put one right here, right here, and even one right here. So many to choose from, click one. Come on, you can do it. Oh god, yeah. Oh goodness, right there. Oh, click it. Oh, 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 oh. Stop teasing me. Damn you and click it. <laughs> seriously, if you're still watching at this point and not clicking, I've seriously lost my faith in humanity. I want you to click it. I want you to click it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And go. Do it. Hi, I'm a Spider-Man. Click the button and I'll be like friendly. Okay, I'm leaving. See if I care that you press the sub button. Press the freaking button!